while heuristics or mental thumb rules usually serve us well by lowering the cognitive load or the brain power needed for making routine decisions, they have the potential of playing havoc when a situation or a decision requires effortful, deliberate thinking. For example, availability heuristics is a mental shortcut that helps us make decisions based on the first example that comes to our mind or something we have recently read. Consider this. There is a lot of media coverage about the gruesome murder of a rich person. If you are rich, it is more than likely that influenced by this news, you will take some safety precautions, even though more people die of rich lifestyle diseases than rich lifestyle murders. Rationally speaking, instead of installing a burglar alarm, you should be taking precautions against diabetes. Another heuristic is loss aversion. Psychologically, losses are twice as powerful as gains. Consider this, you are given a bonus at the beginning of a year and you are told that if you don't perform well, at the end of the year you will have to return the bonus. Versus, you are offered a bonus at the end of the year, based on the same level of performance. How bad will you feel if you have to return the bonus you got at the start of the year versus if you do not receive the bonus at the end of the year? This is because returning the bonus feels like a loss, which hurts you more than winning a reward, even though financially they are both pretty similar. Here is another heuristic puzzle, the famous Linda problem. Linda is 31 years old. She is single, outspoken and very bright. She majored in philosophy. When she was a student, she was deeply concerned with issues of discrimination and social justice. She participated in every single anti-nuclear demonstration that was held in the campus. Which is more probable today? 1. Linda is a bank teller. 2. Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Most people choose option 2, even though probability of Linda being a banker is far higher than Linda being a banker and active in the feminist movement.